Well, good morning everyone and welcome to the second episode of Let's Chat. And I'm really happy because new lighting at home as well as a new microphone so you will be able to hear me a lot clearer than last week. And I hope you're all enjoying your long weekend and doing all the fun things out there. And I had a question asked me today about why don't I not have the actual chat on today? And for me, it's all about routine. I, I stick to a routine. I stick to what I do because when it comes to, to goals, a goal, a dream, doesn't know what day it is. If it's a Christmas day, if it's a Boxing day, if it's a holiday, if it's a birthday, every single day is the same. And to really achieve your goals, you need not to have your routine disturbed. So I'm really hoping that if anybody is online today, this is more of a Q&A. So you can ask me whatever questions you want. I have, do, I have also got my phone in front of me, so that way at least in case there's any questions, I can see it pop up and I've got my iPad in front of me. So that's why I'm looking down, so I'm not being rude, I'm just checking to make sure that if I've got any messages, I can answer them for you as well. So what happens if I don't get any questions? What do I do? Do I just switch off and, and that's it? No, I'll, I'll talk about different things, about weight loss. So it's all about losing weight for the very last time. Your very last weight, lo the weight loss journey and what you need to do that. How, how about you go about that? And I think that we need to address the real issues. I mean, exercise is there, food is there, but it's all in the mind, is how we convince ourselves, our mindset, and how we move forward. <clears throat> and if anything that's stopping you from losing weight, and from my experience, it all comes down to our beliefs, what we believe about. What beliefs are we hanging on to? And those beliefs might have come back when we are a very young age, but we are not four or five years old. We are who we are right now. So those beliefs are probably out of date, but we need to address those beliefs that could be stopping you from, from losing weight for the very last time. It might have been something that someone told you. It might have been what you read or what you were told. So by removing those beliefs, <clears throat> it's going to really help you lose weight for the very last time. It's going to take a load off you because the last thing that you really want is these old beliefs that you have about why you're not able to lose weight to remove them and they're taking up space in your head. And we don't want that to take up room. We want positive things, we want happy things, we want motivating, inspiring things to help you move forward. I remember as a kid that I was always told to not leave food on my plate. It was a sign of disrespect. So even though I wasn't hungry, got to a point I was full as. I knew that I had to eat it because I was told to. That was the beliefs. But if you find that you're doing that right now, that's an old belief. You can stop that because you're not, you, you're not told that you're not able to leave that food on the plate anymore. So what's stopping you from losing weight? There could be lots of things, but the most important part is to be aware of them, is to talk about them, is to write them down. And most importantly, is to accept them. That you accept that this is what's stopping you. And we need to look at it and think, okay, how can we remove this belief that's stopping you from 
lose weight for the very last time. That's one. The other thing that stops us from losing weight or to move forward is fear. And fear is, it can be quite cruel because it scares us. It stops us from losing weight or from achieving anything in life because we're afraid of what could happen. We like certainty in life. And, and if I told you that if you do this, this and this, these steps to lose weight and you uh, lose weight, then you most probably do it. But there's always going to be a bit of uncertainty. And that's what stops people. The fear of failing, the fear of going back onto the weight loss merry-go-round. We need to convince our minds first when it comes to that. I believe that the exercise, the food, your reason why you want to lose weight, they'll all come along. But we need to get ourselves out of the way so we can carry on and lose our weight and be happy with ourselves. If we are the roadblock, then we need to work our way around it. We need to install new beliefs and new ideas. And a part of that is to be surrounded in an environment that is not toxic, that is positive. Some of us are lucky. We have great family, great friends around us, and that helps us along the way. But what if you don't have friends or family that supports your weight loss? Where do you go then? What do you do? How do you get around that? When you don't have the job of motivation to do it by yourself. And this is one of the reasons why I have this private group, Lose Weight for the Very Last Time. Because it's a private group. And people on the group are wanting to be in the group. So you already have people on your side. You see, when a flower doesn't bloom, You need to fix the environment around you, not the flower. So you are the flower. So you are perfect. It's the environment around you that's causing you or stopping you times as well. So how do you create the perfect environment to lose the weight? Or well, you're never going to get perfection. There's always going to be roadblocks and stumbling along the way, there's always going to be times in which you're going to find it hard or trying to move forward. But by having a non-toxic positive environment and by creating that environment, it's going to really help you because you're going to draw inspiration from that. So you can start to create your own, the environment in which your headspace in, reading books, listening to good music, going for walks, having the right foods at home, all this environment, surround yourself with people that, or things that inspire you, it's gonna really help you lose weight and it's gonna also contribute to what's stopping you, what's blocking you from losing weight in the first place. So what I want you to do is, I want you to remove all the old beliefs you have about weight loss. I want you to remove what people told you that you can or can't do, I want you to remove any beliefs that you had to finish off what's on your plate because it was a sign of disrespect. I want you to remove what people put into your head that here you go again, you're going to lose weight and it's going to last you for four or five days. I want you to remove all that garbage because all that garbage and all that bullshit is taking up room, valuable space up here. I want you to fill up here with positive things. One of the reasons why I put together a weight loss planner 
the 150 page planner which you can download any, any time. That planner came about for my clients who personal train with me because people said to want to lose weight and wanted me to give them guarantees to lose weight. Can you guarantee that I can lose weight? Well, I can guarantee providing that you keep a log of what you're eating, how you're moving and what you're thinking and keep a log for at least 30 days. Because by writing this information down, it's valuable data that we can go back and have a look and, 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 and it's like a timeline and see if there was a particular week that you didn't lose as much weight as possible. We can pinpoint in what areas we need to improve upon. So tracking your weight loss is very important and the way, however you go about it. But I find that with a planner, you're able to write things down. You're able to see for yourself because, for example, if we look at food, and this is a good one, because we can change things up here really quickly, but when we write things down on a piece of paper and we are faced with reality what's in front of us, because whatever we write down, and this is where you need to be truthful and honest and don't deny yourself is that we only can, I only can help you. You only can help yourself by writing everything down. If you say, no, I won't write down that I ate that Mars bar or had that ice cream, it's okay, I won't write that down. But that's not a way how you can measure. That's not the truth. You can't really fix that if you don't write it down. You're only really cheating yourself or lying to yourself or tricking yourself. How is that supposed to help you? So my tip is that when it comes to losing weight, is to be honest with yourself. If you've had, if you've indulged, write it down. We need to ask the questions, where were you? Or how were you feeling when you had that, when you ate that? Because that is the underlying factor that created that emotional decision to do that. Once we address that, then we're more aware and we can accept it. So if it happens again, then guess what? The light bulbs tick on, oh, switch on, sorry, tick on. And you are aware of that last situation, you ate that piece of cake because you were sad because somebody told you that you're hopeless. So the next time you go for that, which is quite cruel by the way, then you know, okay, I was in, in the situation before. I know how to address it. I know the emotion or the emotions attached to that decision when I did that. That's how you lose weight for the very last time when you identify what was that emotional trigger that caused you to do that in the first place. If we don't address that, you can exercise until the cows come home. You can eat, and have the best foods, the best chefs, the best personal trainers, the best motivator. You can have all of that, but that's not gonna help you address the real underlying factors. What is stopping you? What is causing you to not lose weight for the very last time? Remember that losing weight for the very last time now, what have you been your experiences in the past to lose weight? If you're on this weight loss, merry-go-round, roller coaster, every Monday, every Monday, every Monday, every Monday, someday, one day, maybe, there's no such thing. You need to really identify why do you have this vicious routine, this vicious circle that you go back and you're always yo-yo dieting. If you find that you've been on this merry-go-round, for years and years and years. What is it? What are the unlearned factors or reasons why you go for a week or two weeks or three days and then you find yourself back on there again? This is why it's so important, so powerful to write things down, to track things and to understand things. What made you decide to do that in the first place? 
what emotion was attached to that. And these are the questions you need to ask yourself. Nothing really stops me from helping people. It's like these Facebook lives. Now, once upon a time I had a fear thinking if I didn't get likes or comments or people watching me that I failed, but it's not. See, I've overcome that fear because I put this information out there and it doesn't really bother me who's watching, who's not watching, who's commenting, who's liking, because I know there's people out there that are listening and may, not, and may watch, this, watch this in a later time. Does that stop me from putting myself out there and doing Facebook Lives and giving this information because I'm not getting anyone watching right now? No, it doesn't. The show must go on. Your weight loss journey must go on. Losing weight for the very last time. If you want to do it for the very last time and you don't want to put yourself through the trauma and the emotional roller coaster, then you need to really address the underlying factors, what are causing you to your, your diet. I can help you, providing that you keep a log of information of what you are doing every day. And trust me, this works. Because if you don't write it down and you're trying to remember up here, you at any given second can change. No, I didn't have that mask, but I won't write it down. That's what it comes down to, to losing weight the last time. Now, when I was trying to lose my weight for many years, and I was an obese boy from the age of eight, so I know what it feels like to be overweight and to, and to live a life of being fat for 25 years. And I use that word, not to be disrespectful, I use that word for, to bring myself down to reality, to understand that. And I was, I was fat for 25 years. And I found myself on the merry-go-round roller coaster of, of, of different diets. So I tried them all. Um, shakes, pills, tablets, um, detox, um, soups, um, two meals, one, uh, replace two meals with a shake for one week and then ease it off in three weeks. I tried all that sort of stuff and all the different Info commercial, exercise equipment, all of that. I try that, but I was always on this roller coaster up and down. I'll let you know into a secret. The moment that I said no more to diets, and the moment that I refused to be bossed by the weight loss industry and the diets, and I start to be the boss of it, that is when I took control because the weight loss industry will take control of you. It will play on your emotions and draw you in. <clears throat> you need to draw a line and be the boss of your situation, okay? Take control of your situation. You need to, to book blinkers and, and book earmuffs and block all the negativity and all the people in your ear, unless they've been through it, to help you lose weight for the very last time. And losing weight for the very last time feels wonderful because you don't ever have to go on, the, on, on a, um, a weight loss journey ever again. It's a lifestyle. It's true. You hear it all the time. People talk about it's a lifestyle, it's a lifestyle, it's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. You'll get to the point, and this is what happens when you start losing weight and you start getting the results and you feel good about yourself. After a while, Everything becomes second nature. It's just like having a shower or brushing your teeth, doing your hair, get up in the morning, get on to sleep. Everything, you're like you're on autopilot. It just happens because it's just routine. When it's not routine, then it's foreign. So it's different. At times, it will take more of an effort. But when you see the results and you see progress, then you build confidence. And when you build confidence, you start to believe in yourself that you can do this. 
And that's what you need. You need belief. You need, and, and this is why it's really important that the small wins that you, that you get each day, each week, that you really give yourself a pat on the back. Because when you, it doesn't matter what it is. Say, for example, you have promised yourself this week that you're going to walk three times a week for 30 minutes. That's all you have to do. I want you to stick to that promise you made to yourself. Three times a week, 30 minutes, that's it. But in the week, you've done the three by 30 minute walks. How does that make you feel? Like, that makes you feel good. That means that you kept your promise. That means that you can do it. And that gives you confidence, that gives you belief. So you need to start small, small steps, because small steps empowers you to start to believe in yourself again. Because I can sit here right now and, and motivate you, inspire you, tell you stories and, 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 and believe in you. But you need to believe in yourself that you can do it. So that's why it's very important to have small steps, to install that belief back into yourself again, that you can do it. I'm gonna have a glass of water. There's nobody on today, so I'm gonna another five minutes. I know it's um it's a public holiday, and <clears throat> and that's good that we're out there and join us. So you can watch this later on. In actual fact, I read out my fiance. She said to me, what are you going to talk about if nobody asks you questions? And I said, good question. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes I feel that I'm talking about the same thing, but it doesn't matter because it might just take that second or third or fourth time that it will click. And you, you go, yep, that's, that's you. And I feel that not everybody's ready to lose weight, and that's okay. And at times, we're not in the right mindset. But it just takes that one word, or that one sentence that you might hear over and over and over, that will just finally click. And that to me is wow. That is finally helping someone to to get off the weight loss merry-go-round and diet merry-go-round and finally lose weight for the very last time. I know it can be scary when we talk about long-term because we're in such a hurry to lose weight and we want it off fast because it's, it's terrible, we feel awful, we want to get rid of it, it makes us upset. But we've got to start somewhere. The sooner that you can accept and be aware of your situation and where you are right now, the quicker you lose weight and keep it off every last time. And I know at times that it can be frustrating that you're not getting the results or you're plateauing, you're struggling. You're watching other people getting the results, but you're not getting the results. And that can really hurt and suck sometimes. But you need to trust the process. You need to trust yourself. And providing that you are doing everything that you have promised yourself that you would do, and you are logging things down. Please download my weight loss planner. Log things down. There's a exercise log, there's a movement, there's a, sorry, a, a food log, there's a how you're thinking, all this information, you need to write it down and promise yourself that you will collect this for at least 30 days. And with that, that's gonna really help you move forward. So, we're getting close to our 30 minutes because I did promise that this talk goes for 30 minutes and I'm more than happy to talk for longer. I had some questions, but I don't have any questions. So I hope that you enjoy the rest of your holiday, today being Monday, and get a chance to watch this video later on. It will be saved 
under the unit section in the group so you can go back and you can watch it. So today's video was all about what's stopping you from losing weight for a very last time as well as keeping a log of information of what you're eating and how you're moving and how you, what you're thinking so we can draw upon the information to really understand what's causing some of the decisions you're making, what emotional attachments that's, that's causing it and to really look at your belief systems and what you believe in i.e. you were told when you were five, you were six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old that you weren't allowed to leave any food on your plate even though that you were full so that caused overeating guess what, you're not that person ever now you're a different person altogether that's the old belief system so you don't need you can leave the food on your plate or don't put as much food on your plate in the first place so you don't waste the food so let's change that one old belief system it's going to really address the overeating and will get you on, the, on your way of losing weight for the very last time so write things down for at least 30 days what you're eating, how you're feeling and how you're moving when you do have a moment where you've indulged write down what was happening in that moment and how you're feeling and what you're doing and that way we can look at this information and please download my planner I will put a link down in, in the comment section here and the planner that is a six month planner so you've got six months of information you can put down that will help you keep you on track and it's very important to do this because it was one thing that really helped me lose my weight besides being consistent was being accountable and by writing my logs down and by keeping the track of what I was eating, how I was moving and what I was thinking kept me accountable to myself and what I was doing so by being accountable by being able to look at your log helps you lose weight for the very last time so I hope that my talk has helped you in any way please write any comments or any questions you have down below I will go back and I will answer them so my take home message today is to log everything down to remove any old belief systems and if you do need help to really dig deep and to really pull down that pull away those layers like an like a onion don't have an onion right here but to pull the layers back to really find out what the underlying factor that is stopping you from losing weight for the very last time then I'm here we can do a one hour power session which is $79 and it's done by Zoom and it's all about you and by doing that first session we'll be able to uncover and discover what is stopping you from losing weight for the very last time I'm Sylvester and thank you for being part of my group and we'll talk soon bye for now